Welcome to VinSud YouTube Podcast, the second developmental flight of small satellite launch vehicle. SSLVD2 is successfully launched on February 10, 2023 at 918 hours India Standard Time from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharakota. SSLVD2 is intended to inject EO7. Janus-1 and Azadasat-2 satellites into 450 km circular orbit in its 15 minutes flight. SSLV caters to the launch of up to 500 kg satellites to low Earth orbits on launch-on-demand basis. It provides low-cost access to space, offers low turnaround time and flexibility in accommodating multiple satellites, and demands minimal launch infrastructure. It is configured with three solid propulsion stages and a velocity terminal module. It is a 34 meters tall. 2 meters diameter vehicle having a liftoff mass of 120 ton. EO-7 is 156.3 kg satellite design, developed and realized by ISRO. New experiments include MM Wave Humidity Sounder and Spectrum Monitoring Payload. Janus-1, a 10.2 kg satellite belongs to Antares, USA. A 8.7 kg satellite Azotisat-2 is a combined effort of about 750 girl students across India guided by Space Kids India, Chennai. Despite other launch vehicles, what is the need for SSLV? As the name suggests, SSLV or the Small Satellite Launch Vehicle's sole purpose is to launch small satellites and therefore, free up the most popular launch vehicle, PSLV for bigger missions to space. Since 1999, India's workhorse PSLV is providing launch services for customer satellites. As of 30 June 2022, India has launched 346 satellites for 36 different countries onboard PSLV. With the outlay of RS-169 crores, the center has allocated a budget for the development of the project, which is to cover the development and qualification of the vehicle systems and the flight demonstration through three development flights, SSLVD-1, SSLVD-2, and SSLVD-3. So this leads all of us to common question. How SSLV differ from PSLV? A look at the difference between PSLV and SSLV. Getting built on a completely commercial aspect. SSLV and PSLV are very different from each other even though they both are used for satellite launches into low Earth orbit. The height dimension of PSLV is 44 meters while SSLV tops at 34 meters. The newly developed rocket has been configured with three solid stages the 87T, 7.7T, and 4.5T respectively, as against the PSLV, which is a four-stage rocket that generates 48 OKN thrust in the first stage, 799KN in the second. 240 kN in the third and 15 kN in fourth. Taking the payload capacity as the point of comparison, the two satellites are equally powerful in lifting big structures off the ground. While the SSLV has been designed to carry objects ranging from 10 kg to 500 kg to a 500 km planar orbit, the PSLV can deposit 1,750 kg of payload to sun-synchronous polar orbits of 600 km altitude. It is worth noting that PSLV takes a big win in overall comparison, but SSLV wins when it comes to turnaround time. Turnaround time implies the readying of a rocket for the next launch and SSLV can be prepared and shifted to the launch pad in just over 72 hours, as against the two months required to prep the PSLV. SSLV is expected to beat the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which takes 21 days of turnaround time. SSLV provides low-cost access to space on demand basis. It offers low turnaround time, flexibility in accommodating multiple satellites, launch on demand feasibility, minimal launch infrastructure requirements, ISRO has said. Launch of SSLVD 2 US 07 on a bright sunny morning.